All right, I'm going to try to make a Korean beef something, I don't know, with some homemade mashed potatoes and some asparagus. First, I have to season the meat. Now, I'm going to put a lot of different seasonings on it, like garlic powder, a little sesame oil. This is um, supposed to be like a marinade, onion powder some ginger, soy sauce, brown sugar, marin, salt, pepper, and I added like a onion soup packet. I thought that would be kind of interesting. I also added these like chili things and a little bit of cloves. And I have this oriental seasoning too, so I added that as well and a little bit of some beef stock and put it in the fridge for an hour, then I started on the potatoes. I had 15 pounds of potatoes, but only about nine pounds were actually usable. So many of the potatoes were bad. I cut off the ends of the asparagus. I don't know, I just do it, it's a thing. Um, I just added some seasonings and stuff like soy sauce and garlic and whatnot, onion powder, you know, just to add some flavor to my asparagus. And of course, pepper. I think garlic and pepper are kind of the main ingredients you wanna add. I stirred it all up really good, added some garlic and some butter, then put um, aluminum foil on top and put that in the oven at 350 for, I don't know, however long it took me to make the other stuff, like probably an hour, I don't know. Oh yeah, and I added a little more soy sauce. I had some leftover beef stock, so I just tossed it in the potatoes. I decided that I was gonna make them garlic potatoes, so I added some pepper, salt, and garlic right to the water because I wanted that flavor to soak into the potatoes a little bit. All right, so now it's time to do the meat. I'm, I'm putting aluminum foil down. I realized after I started cooking them that they weren't cooking quite right. Like it was okay but I wanted them to sear a little better. So I decided to take them all off, move the foil and put them all directly back on. I can tell you right now that these already smell amazing. They look amazing. Time to flip them over. They really only need like one more minute. I am going to flip them all and I'm going to go mash the potatoes and I'll be right back. Salt, pepper, a little bit of oregano or thyme or some kind of seasoning I think is good for just the garlic butter mashed potatoes. And I use like four sticks of butter. So I'm stirring it in because I want the butter to start melting before I start mashing. I'm using all the milk I have. I don't have a lot right now. I got to go to the store. Anyway, so here I go, mash, 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 mash. These look good, they smell good. And here's that fourth stick of butter I was telling you about. Anyways, we got it all done and uh, I accidentally burnt the meat. I really, really regret that I did that. A lot of the kids loved it anyways, but of course Adam said next time make it almost raw, which is what I'll do. Okay, bye.